Hello everyone. Uh, today in this webinar we will be talking about sweep frequency response analysis method and how you can use this uh, technolo technology to detect any kind of mechanical damage that may have taken place in your transformer. When we talk about transformer diagnostic testing, we do a number of different tests. Uh, we do DGA dissolved gas analysis to find out uh, the condition of the oil, presence of any arcing gases. Uh, we do uh, TTR turns ratio test, winding resistance test to check the condition of the windings. Then we do different tests like power factor, insulation resistance to check the condition of the insulation. But all these tests that we just talked about, uh, none of those tests give me any information about the mechanical condition of the transformer. Has there been any kind of mechanical damage inside the transformer that I'm not aware of? Uh, what if my windings have shifted? What if my core has shifted or windings have got deformed? None of those kind of information can be picked by the other electrical test. That's where the SFRA sweep frequency response analysis test comes into picture and it can tell me that information which is the missing piece in this whole puzzle. Additionally, more information you have on your transformer, better decision you can make and you can avoid those unplanned outages or unexpected failures. Uh, this webinar or this presentation, we have divided that uh, presentation into four different parts. The first one we will be talking about the SFRA basics as what is this test, how you do that, uh, and, and how you make your connections, those kind of things. The second topic will talk about some of the field recommendation and best practices that you should follow when you're out in the field and what are some, some of the key things that you should be aware of when you're performing this test. Uh, the third section would be about how to analyze the results, how to look at the graph and find out what kind of possible problem you might have with the transformer. And the last section we will, we will talk about a couple of case studies that we, we have worked with utilities and they were able to find out uh, problems with the transformer using the SFRA technology. When a transformer is designed, it is designed to, to take a different level of stresses that it will encounter during its life cycle. And those stresses can be electrical, mechanical, uh, environmental condition can affect the condition of the transformer as well. And any time a transformer see a mechanical stress like a short circuit fault or a catastrophic event like earthquake or transportation from one location to the other, in those cases that mechanical stress can affect the mechanical integrity of the transformer, which would lead to problem or damages in the winding, looseness of the winding, shifting of the winding, and those kind of problems can affect uh, the life of the transformer. And that's what the goal of, of this test is. You want to find out any kind of mechanical damage uh, inside the transformer. Uh, with this SFRA method, you can pick up various different kind of problems that may get unnoticed from other electrical tests. Uh, problems like displacement of the windings, uh, winding deformation, hoop buckling is one of the case study that, that we will talk about that covers the hoop buckling issue. Uh, other problems like broken cl clamping structure where if, if you don't have enough pressure on the winding, the winding would get loose. Uh, problems related to the core of the transformer, shifting of the core or uh, shorted laminations, uh, uh, the core ground is not connected properly. So those kind of things you would be able to pick up with this SFRA test. This is a very, very typical example of what a short circuit fault can do to your windings. It can certainly deform your windings and can affect the the uh, the turn-to-turn -turn insulation as well as the the compactness or integrity of the winding. 